of Jessica at the fitness center. What does that say? What happened to David D'Angelo? Who knows? And I'm gonna do a Diamond Mind live lecture. If you're not on Diamond Mind, you're about to miss out. I'm gonna explode your mind in yeah. about 25 minutes. Arashzabar.com. Yeah. Uh, the man, the main man, Arash says Chingy three. What's up? Um, Nelson M says, "What's up, Arash?" What's up, dog? Uh, Zombie says, "Morning." Morning. Sag Flab says, "What's up, brother?" What's up? <laughs> What's up? That's funny. I like how you did it. It was, it was very... a thing. It was a thing a long time ago. Really? I think you were like a baby back then. I was like, "What's up? What's up?" It was like this whole thing that was happening. Oh, that's funny. I like to have girlfriends that are like 20 years younger than me. So then we could talk about when they were babies. <laughs> I can seem very wise. Like 20 years ago, there was no cell phones. Don't you exercise in the morning? Yeah, I do. But not Saturdays. Oh I do my a gosh. Live down in my lecture. Everyone's saying, What's up? What's up? By two people. Uh, hey, Arash. It's Nizuko from Kenya. Any tips on. Talking slower when addressing people. Bro, oh, talk slower. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just talk slower. Any tips on talking slower? Talk slower. It's your speed. Talk slower. Let's do it. Practice. You know, it's funny. I knew a girl in high school that just had this fast speed. And it's like her, her mind was like... Yeah. Fast yeah. speech is fast mind. Yeah. I've taught myself to speak slowly. That's why I can speak so fast if I try to speak fast. You know what I can say fast? How much wood can a woodchuck with? How about you read that? How about I do your job? How about you catch me on side? How, How about, about you that? get paid to act like you're my girlfriend and you do it right right now? Jeez, I didn't know it was such a sensitive subject oh, for you. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> um, Arash. How your game is different from Ju Justin Wayne, real life hitch. Who knows? Why did you stop being a vegan? You were a vegan? No, I was a vegetarian. Vegetarian. I was never a vegan. I was a vegetarian for like seven, eight months. Arash, I really want to know how you deal with fear and how it doesn't let you stop from doing what you want in life. Maybe you can do a live lecture or you go on Diamond's Mind. and being in fear it doesn't stop the attacks that's what I learned so because of that I realized that anytime there's fear by me acting scared it doesn't make it go away mm. so the, the only other option is if you're gonna if fear is going to damage me then I'm gonna damage fear in the process see what happens see what's so far I win what's good fellow humans <laughs> Talking to us. I know. I, I, I thought that. I <laughs> was like, funny. "Is there someone else?" Good vaccine. Um, what's all things you see in a what's all things you see in a woman to make her your girlfriend? Good ass, good titties, this good is lips, Raul. good skin, good hair, uh, voice that attracts me, big bright eyes, nice smile, good teeth. That's oh, about it. <laughs> sorry, it's like a bumpy road today. Um, Arash, how is your game different from Justin Wayne? I just told you. How do I know? How do I know what his game is? Any great books you recommend on prosperity? Yeah, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Um, even when you're scared, question mark. Even when I'm scared, I've realized that being scared doesn't make the threat go away. So, for example, let's say people deal with ghost fear. 
mm-hmm. spirit fear, right? Yeah. That doesn't make the ghost go away when you're scared, does it? No. Nope. Unless you So then I learned to fight back, right? I said, well, if I'm scared and it's not going to go away, then let me fight while I'm scared. And then something happens when you start fighting, uh, you start realizing that whatever thing is that, that you're afraid of, you can affect it. And when moments start affecting it, there's less fear. And that goes for life. So that's my philosophy. My philosophy on fear is, fear doesn't make the threat go away. Simple. Is the tattoo on your forehead swastika symbol? What? No, oh. I know what you're talking about. No. Oh, this one. Yeah, no, it all kind of looks like it. Yeah, that's funny, I just noticed that. How weird. <laughs> How to be confident even if you know nothing about the topic? Well, that's absurd. You can be confident about yourself and about life, but you can't be confident about a topic you don't know nothing about. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be confident about something you don't know anything about. Like you're gonna go teach somebody how to use a pistol, a gun, and you're gonna act all confident even if you know nothing about it. That's foolish. Yeah. Right? You're gonna go teach somebody about how to do dog training and you know nothing about it, and you're gonna act confident. That's foolish. You should never act confident about something you don't know. But you could always have confidence in yourself. While Jessica does her makeup instead of her job, these girls it's hard to find good help these days. This is ridiculous. I'm like one of the best videoers ever known to mankind. Wow. wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Any comments on pick on pickup artists sharing infield footage on you infield footage on YouTube and why don't you have any? Are you a retard? I have more now than almost anybody out there. True. Go go look again. Go Instagram, on Instagram, man. Instagram. What are you talking about? How do you deal with men that disrespect you? They don't. Arash, what all those women see in you? Ask them, bro. Don't ask me. How old are you when you lost your virginity? Hey, uh, when I actually had sex, I was 18. How to feel manly when you're just a boy? When you're just a boy? Oh, this is a kid. You can't feel manly if you're just a boy. You're just a boy. You be manly when you're a man. This is the kid asking, how do you deal with men that disrespect you? Do you punch them? No, I don't condone violence, but I do condone defending oneself. How do you how do you gain a mentality where nothing can affect you, meaning when people give you shit? You get on Diamond Mind. Study Diamond Mind from first lecture till where I'm at right now, and yeah. today's, and you will be different. Mind's blowing. How to, oh, do you want the other one? I'll just take this, so you have another one. Oh, you took the other one? Yeah. How to maintain your state positively, uh, positivity, confidence all day. By the way, been following you for a while, boss shit. Cool, you can't maintain it all day. You're gonna go through ups and downs through the day. Okay, and when you're down for a minute, it's okay. Like, I don't think to myself, I'm up or down. I don't think like that. Yeah. It's not a concern. When I am feeling great, I recognize it. When I'm not feeling so great, I recognize it. But it's not something that's important to me. That's what today's Diamond Mind Lecture is gonna blow your mind. You guys, really, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, I, I, every time I've said this, I've said this about a few events and things I've done. I said, you want to be on this thing. I, you want to be on my Diamond Mind Lecture today. Yeah. I'm about to go do it, and I'm going to change your life. In 45 minutes to an hour today, I will change your life. Watch. For sure. When you become a better version of yourself, do people magically pick up on it? Like, if it was telepathic? I feel like it happens to me. Well, if it happens to you, then that's your experience, so... What to do if your ex was begging to be with you and after one month she has a new wait he has a new girlfriend but he says he don't love her like you should i try to be with him again i have feelings still no i'll tell you why first of all every man's gonna cheat on you if you're a woman asking this question okay so unless you get an honest man you're not gonna have a real relationship but so you have to choose. Do you want that guy cheating on you or do you want a new guy cheating on you? Now, the reason why I say you shouldn't get back with him is because not only is he cheating on you, he's now with somebody while behind their back telling you he doesn't love them. Now, that, that's a double 
that's a double dirtiness to me, mm -hmm. right? There's yeah. one where he lies to you yeah. and he cheats on you. Not cool. But now he's with somebody and behind that woman's back, he's saying, I don't love that woman. Like, man, oh you know, you got to start making some real decisions in your life about if you want a man like that to be baby daddy. Okay. Because if, if he has a son, right, if he has a son, then that son is going to carry that man's legacy like that. How is he going to teach a son that you have to be a coward for the rest of your life? Right. So I would say, ultimately, I would say if you love him that much, do it. I believe in this whole thing called love overcomes all this shit. It also makes you completely stupid. We gotta talk about that, right? What is that? What? I, I, I'm in awe. Look at that, that's her son. Yeah. Like, he's a I'm, cute little boy, but he looks like her. I don't get it. And why do you walk so far away from your son when you're close he, to your he, He's like, get away from me. Yeah, they're pissed at each other. Um, what do you learn first, kung fu or jujitsu? I learned Taekwondo first. I don't know Kung Fu. Last night was empowering. Command the day. Hell yeah. What if you broke and can't afford Diamond Mind? Then right now you should be looking for a job. Thanks, Arash, for everything. Just purchased Supernatural. Eric B. Dude, Premium. Eric, get ready, Eric. Get ready. The testimonials are, are amazing on this one. It pushes me to do a better product again. Um... Troy said, Jessica, is your eye still not okay? Um, Omar says, what is your thoughts on humor? I love humor. <laughs> I don't have to think about humor. It just comes to me. Oh, yeah. Well, Jessica's not too funny, but I'm she thinks she's funny. I'm freaking the funniest. She thinks she's funny, which is funny that she thinks she's funny. So in that case, you're funny. <laughs> you know, mainly anything funny Arash says, he's probably learned it from me. I think that's cute that you think that. So it's such a sensitive subject for you. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Say, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive subject for you. It's better. I didn't realize. She goes, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive subject. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's great. Focus. So, yeah, please. please. I'm, I'm just trying to read over here. You're trying to live, bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> not try to, I'm not trying to teach you comedy at this very moment, Arash. No, you can't. When to punch men in the face. Is that that kid again? Mm-hmm. Bro. Seriously. Get it together. Go start a jiu-jitsu class, bro. Okay? Go learn Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Just learn, just learn Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Talk to me in six months after you train every day. I'll tell you you feel different. Arash is a god. Sutu I don't know how to say your name. I'm a god? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. To some I am. Everyone know I'm leaving because I want to leave. Yeah, <laughs> not because. <laughs> not because they think that they're making me leave. I was already planning on leaving. <laughs> Just making a public announcement. <laughs> public announcement: uh, I'm leaving on my own free will. Um, what are your thoughts on texting a girl first? I'll do it all the time, every time. I could care less. Really? Hey, fuck yeah! What if she I don't never wait for her to text you. What? What if she doesn't message you? You keep on texting her? No, no. I give her a few tries on the text. But How I text did, first. Did I end up here? So your um, mom and dad had sex. Yeah. And they, do uh, this they made a little baby boy. Thing girl. when they put it through the other thing. Like and. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh. <laughs> popped out of her vagina. Oh my god, that's so funny. And then you grew up to be who you are. Yeah, and then you're here. You <laughs> Supernatural in your live lectures have been life changing. I have had so many growths this week. Thank you so much, brother, for what you do. Vincent Angel, Troy, oh, yeah. Arash, a girl in my class is super friendly to my friends. When I try to talk to her, she always makes fun of me. Does it mean she hates me? How do I change? How to change that? Mm, you need to learn game. You need to learn game. Um. 
you cycled here and someone put their tongue out. Um, Abrash, how to be decisive. This is that little one again. Ah, uh-huh, bro. You, you need help, bro. Yeah. Okay? If you're over 18, go sign up for Diamond Mind. Okay? Sure. Uh, sup, Arash. Greedy money. Sup. This last night's lecture, dog. Go check it out. It's up. There's times when the live lecture doesn't let me watch. Do you know why? No idea. Unless you say <coughs> something dumb and we block yeah. you. No, really. They can keep on. They can go back to your YouTube channel, but they can't go back to that one if they're blocked. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You guys should check out a video just went up this morning of a conversation between me and my ex-girlfriend Gia. It's up right now. Yeah. Check it out. Tell me what you think. My supernatural link is missing some lectures. Eric B. You need to email arisethepart3 at, at gmail.com, okay? Arisethepart3 at gmail.com. Don't tell them to open the door. Arash, why do humans often associate beauty with morality? I don't know. What, what's the code? Really, Arash, it's my man. birthday. I don't know your birthday. Arash doesn't know my birthday. Um, I received a lecture four and five, mind blown, but missing lectures one to three. Great. Email arasapar3 at gmail.com. <coughs> Tell them. Well, she's in a deep conversation with her grandma. <laughs> Gramps, I'm telling you. So you just jump over the fence yes, yes, and yes, I'm going to yes, grab yes, the money. That's what I felt like she was talking Sorry. about. I will do show. I will do four. Show. I will do oh for show. Okay, bye. Rash. Okay, bye. You did an incredible lecture today. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill that lecture today. You guys be ready. If you have students that can watch, put them in there. I'm gonna destroy it. Okay. Uh, justice is human. Nature is just. Yeah. Can I what? Throw your face. Come, let me just show your face. Let the dog come out. Go. Face destroyed. Go. There you go. Look at that sexy girl. Look at that sexy girl. What's up? We're live. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Too many girls. I'm just surrounded by fucking women. Left and right. Ridiculous. Brother Omar Bor, you need to get on Diamond Mind. You need a mentor. You don't have a male role model in your life, and it sounds like you're bullied, okay? That is not a good good situation. So get on Diamond Mind. What kind of Maserati do you have? It's called the Ghibli. 2017. I love this song. I love this song. just the Western civilization I think that male female energy is out of balance and that's my job on this planet is to bring harmony to it it's one of the things I'm doing here like one of the main main things I'm doing here so the world will change because I lived
Sammy over Dave. I don't know who that is. Thank you for your knowledge and help. Love from India. You're welcome. I'm about to go do a Diamond Mine lecture for an hour. I'm gonna fucking kill it, guys. Next live lecture will be tomorrow night, Sunday. Today's Saturday. I go out in the field and I test my, I test my powers tonight. <laughs> That's my powers of seduction tonight, and I learned. Hey, Raj, have you tried those pendants that block radiation from any negative energy from your energy field? I have, but you know what, Miguel? I, I mean, I remember you, like, last night, you're, like, talking to Jessica, like, trying to hit on her. I think Hannah, too. Like, I don't get you. How do you, like, how do you disrespect me and my girls and then keep coming on and asking me questions? I don't understand you guys. Help me understand how someone can do that. I don't do that. I know I'm not like regular people, but I think just decent human beings don't do that. Weren't you making like sexual comments towards my girlfriends last night? You want your friends to do that? Huh? If you had friends, you want them to do that? So if you had a few friends, or let's say students or whatever, just a random guy. You want them to make sexual comments towards your girlfriend and then you ask me questions? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know who's in Van Halen. I just know the songs by Van Halen. Maserati, the car of tigers and kings. I agree. Since I'm driving one. Till tomorrow. Hey, Arash. You got the wrong guy, brother. I did? Oh, there was, okay. Okay. Oh, then that makes sense. Because there was another guy, Miguel H., I thought last night, who was talking stupid. And it had a green uh, face like yours. But okay. Get it. I get it. My bad. Jealousy. What does jealousy mean? I don't understand jealousy. I don't understand jealousy. I've never disrespected you. I don't like this chat. Okay, cool. There was another Miguel last night. I, I swear I thought it said Miguel H. But I believe you. Arash is a diamond lecture. It's available for a replay. It'll be recorded. I'm gonna fucking kill it right now. Lady Ange, beautiful girl, what's up? Are you not on Diamond Mind yet, Lady Ange? Because I'm about to do a live lecture. I'm literally driving my office to start this thing. I'm gonna kill it. How to get rid of jealousy? Don't. I don't get rid of jealousy. If it's there, it's there. I don't get it. Like, I don't. You, these are words, you know? These are words. They're, they're just words that are fucking your mind up, you know? Okay, I'm all ears. No, you have to be on Diamond Mind, Lady Ange. It's it's a program I have for 97 a month. And right now I'm about to go to my office. I just drove in right now. And I'm gonna do a live lecture for my Diamond Mind students for an hour. And it's going, you know, I made a video. I tell, I told everybody, I'm about to change their lives. I'm about to change your life. If you're on Diamond Mind right now, I'm gonna change your life with this one lecture. I'm telling you, I will do it. You watch what I'm about to do right now. Make, I'll keep you guys on for like the first maybe few minutes. The more problems we see. I know you'd rather see me die than see me fly. Ain't that the truth, huh? Ten years from now, I'll still be on top. I thought I told you we don't stop. I thought I told you that we don't stop. It's been the story of my life, right? I've been doing this for a long time. Never had a doubt I'd be where I'm at. I don't have a doubt now. But I'm about to be. Keep watching. office. 
to my office. Sheena, do you feel like your girlfriends can be so feminine with you because they release their masculinity through their work, guiding other women? No. <clears throat> no, but that's a, that's a very good, good question. They can be feminine with me because I'm so masculine. So it allows them to be feminine. There's no other way. They can't be feminine if I'm not masculine enough. Get it? Male-female energy. Balances each other out. Okay. Sorry, you gotta get a close-up of my beard while I'm fixing the computer. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this shit. Hmm, how can I, how can I put this up here? So you guys can see me for a minute before I, before I hang up. Okay, that might work. Nope, that doesn't work. Will you ever write a book on rules again? How do they release their extra testosterone? Uh, Shana, you're a little confused. You have an idea. You have an idea about male-female energy, right? Masculinity, but it's not the right idea. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get an answer. Um, you're trying to get an answer to a question that's the wrong question. That's, I mean, you, you have a wrong idea. I, all I can tell you is you have a wrong idea. So my answering of it won't work because you got the wrong idea. Okay? Now, I'm trying to find a place for this fucking phone. Give me a second. You're asking a question as if you know about male and female energy, and you don't. Because your question is a good question, but the way that you're phrasing it now, um, you have misunderstanding on the subject. Obviously, and that's why I'm here to do what I do, so that you guys can get it. Where are we at here? Yeah, I don't feel very good. Greedy money. Here we go. Do you give second chances with your exes? I have. I have, I have to. to one of them, actually. I've given one a second chance so far. But not to the others, I haven't. Depends on who they are, okay? Go live. We're about to go live. Seriously? This lighting is terrible. Twelve viewers already on. Good. Welcome everybody. I'm also simultaneously on YouTube for a minute. That was obviously my phone.
videos almost every day, and then I do a live lecture once a week, Saturdays. Got the test, got it. Porch anxiety is a natural phenomenon. So, I don't fight nature. I accept it. It doesn't matter if I approach anxiety, I approach, okay? That's the difference. Thoughts on Alistair Crowley? Very powerful man. I think he's a very powerful, powerful man. Girlfriends, if you guys are on right now, message me please. What's up, Ramona? On the social stream, because I'm on my YouTube. I can't see your messages. Let me know if you're on. YouTube for a second. I'll be right back.
Puerto Rico. I just wanna hear you screaming, ay bendito. I can move forever con este contigo. Okay, everybody, welcome to this uh, very special Diamond Mind lecture. I'm on live on YouTube, and I'll stay on for a few minutes to give you a taste of what you're going to miss. <laughs> All right. Today, I wanted to um, I wanted to not necessarily teach you any techniques, but I wanted to talk to you from my mind. And... Um, the effects of listening to me when I speak from this perspective, the effect can be very, very freeing. Because you're going to get to taste a level of freedom that's reserved for those who have earned it. And to earn this freedom, to earn this power, you have to be truly, truly uncompromising. You have to be so dedicated. And there can be no other alternative besides total power and freedom. And I can teach you how to communicate this technique or that technique or have you look at different aspects of life as I do. But today I'm going to just talk to you as if I'm talking to my diary. So for the next 30 minutes or so, and then I'll take your questions. You will be my diary. And I'm going to talk. And then at the end I'll answer whatever you have. And at some point, I'll shut the YouTube off. Somebody asked me on live lecture a couple of days ago, or live uh, streaming, are you a polygamist? And I said, I don't understand polygamy. I don't understand monogamy. I don't understand any of those weird terms you have. I don't care. I don't know if I'm a polygamist. I don't know if I'm a monogamist. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, really. Why? Because what you, the, the terms you're using, the terms you're using are taking life as a dynamic, dynamic interaction and bringing it down to some con confined little box. Oh, you're a polygamist, which means da 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 da. You're a monogamist. Oh, you're a Christian? Then you must blah blah blah. And you're a Muslim, and you must blah blah blah. Oh, so you're a lawyer. Hmm, that's great. Oh, so you're a doctor. You're a fighter. I get it. You're a hairstylist. Are you a tattoo artist? I'm none of those things. And I don't care about your, your, your fucking labels. I could give a fucking flying rat's ass on what you think I am. What is true is that I don't think like that. And so my mind is free to be. I know what it feels like to love. I know what it feels like to hate. I know the emotions, how they come and go. I don't care about my past. You're fascinated about your past. I don't care about my past. I will use it to teach as examples so that you can relate, but in my mind, I don't care. I don't even care what happened this morning. I don't care what happened this morning. Who gives a shit? Why do I give a fuck? I don't care what happened last night. Isn't right now so much more important than last night? I'm doing a fucking live lecture. 
for my students that pay me 97 a month and for free people. This is important. What happened last night doesn't matter. What happened to me when I was 13 makes no difference to me right now. Or 15 or 25. I learned my lesson when it happened. And I don't need to carry those thoughts so that I never forget. I won't forget. And if I do forget, I'll remember again. My mind, it doesn't have space in it to be occupied by my past. My mind must engage the present time right now and experience what's happening here. Here I am. Here I am. Why do you drag me to my past? I don't care. Whatever was, was. Whatever was, was. Whatever will be, I will have a hand in creating. Because now I'm aware. And whatever is right now, I accept it as it motherfucking is while I make the changes necessary to make it better. In me, there is no resistance. There isn't. You may think there is. No, I will still fight to make life better. But I accept all the consequences that life will give me. I'm okay with it, baby. I've had girlfriends come in and go, lie, cheat, steal. So be it. So be it. I've had students betray, lie, cheat, steal. The girlfriends didn't stop me from loving new girls and the students didn't stop me from teaching new students. I've had my fingers deformed where I can't make a fist. It didn't stop me from punching and being able to break anything I hit. It didn't stop me from doing jujitsu. It didn't stop me from living. So be it. You're fascinated by your past. I'm not. You want to know who you were in your past life. I don't care who I was in my past life. That was then. That was then. If you're trying to get that idea so that you have more confidence now, then you're missing something. Let's just say you were, let's say you were a great man in your past life or you were a great woman in your past life, okay? If that's what you're thinking, then what the fuck makes you so pathetic today? For me, it's simple. If I was a great man in my past life, I will show you in this life so that you can look at me and know how great I was in my previous life, my friends. You want to know who the fuck Arash Zapar, motherfucking Dibazar was in his past life? Look at my current life. And watch how I operate now. Notice how I am now. And then look in the past and find one who was like me. Then you'll find out who the fuck I was. I'm not fascinated by who I was. I fell in that trap a long time ago. I could give a rat's ass who I was. Who I was is who I was. And who I affected then is who I affected then. But who I am now and who I will be in the future is much more fascinating to me. And who I affect today and tomorrow is much more fascinating to me. You are trying to solve your own problems and I am not. Again, you are trying to solve your own problems and I am not. If a problem arises in my life, I solve it then. But it has to be a problem. Something needs to come up for me to go, there's a problem. At this moment, right here, right now, there is no problem. There is no problem here. When a problem arises, I will then settle it then. My mind is not here to create problems for me. I'm here to create problems for my mind. 
I will engage life as my teacher and mentor taught me. And I will lock horns with nature, as Malu said to me. And in the locking of horns with nature, there will be problems. Tonight, I go out into the field. I will be interacting with a lot of people. I will find the most beautiful women tonight. And I will seduce them tonight. I will find all the men who want those women. And I will win in the competition of mating tonight. I will put myself out there tonight by being bright and big and shiny and communicating. I will be a bad motherfucker tonight, which makes me a fucking target. And I will handle shit as it comes. But it's not a problem until it's a problem. It's not a problem for me until it's a problem for me. You're walking around making a problem before it's a problem. And there's a reason for that. I'll give you this reason, then I'm off of YouTube. And you guys, get on Diamond Mind. And the reason is, you're trying to prevent yourself from getting hurt. Listen to me, my friends. Listen to me, my friends on planet Earth. Listen to me carefully. All of you listen to me carefully. You keep trying not to get hurt. And that is not how you play a game. You don't play sports with the goal of not getting hurt. Listen again. You don't play basketball, football, soccer, tennis. You don't do martial arts with the goal of not getting hurt. The goal is to engage in those sports and activities so that you feel all the rush of winning and, and the obstacles and pushing through and barriers. The goal is never to not get hurt. Of course you don't want to get hurt, but you don't play the game to not get hurt. If you don't want to get hurt, don't play the game. You don't engage in love. You don't engage in the, with the opposite sex or if you're gay with the, uh, with, with the same sex. You don't engage so that you don't get hurt. You engage so that you feel incredible, knowing you will get hurt. YouTube, see you later.